Hey, what's up guys, this is Darkroom Duels, and today I've got another deck profile for you guys. And today this is gonna be one that is very, very close to my heart, and this time it is Red Eyes Black Dragon. But first off, before I get into the deck, I wanna go ahead and say thank you to everybody at Top Games in Gardendale for helping me build this deck. Without you guys' help, this deck would not be up on my channel right now. I wanna say thank you to everybody who traded me cards, helped me out, I got down to my last two cards I needed, and some guy just helped me out through the cards to me and said, you know, man, you're trying to finish the deck. You know, here you go. Here you go. You're two cards away. Take them. You need them. Here you go. Uh, I traded him, I think, the new Rykiri, uh Blackwing card. But uh, without that, I wouldn't have had this deck. And uh, yeah, if you guys are ever in Gardendale, Alabama, check out Top Games. But anyways, guys, let's get into the deck profile. So first off, I'm playing three copies of Red Eyes Black Dragon. Um... I find it easier if you have an odd number of red eyes in the deck because I'm two playing also two flare dragons um, with five total vanillas in the deck. You really can make your plays a little bit easier by having black stones and stuff like that in your red eyes fusions. And you always are recycling them in with the uh, cards or red jewels. Having five is the essential number for me for my testing. Um, then I play two copies of summon skull. Um, Summon Skull really helps out because I am playing the Fusion and XZ build. I know a lot of people say that Summon Skull is a really bad card in the deck because he just kind of sits there in your hand. But I have had moments with Call of the Haunted that I will, you know, activate Call of the Haunted and then tribute to summon him out because 2500 is nothing to sneeze at in the game today. Um, but then I play one copy of Red, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Darkness Metal Dragon is... I'll put this. It's it wouldn't be broken at two. I rarely use it because it's at one, but I don't find myself using it all that much. Um, it does come in handy when I do get it, but I don't find myself using it all that much. Um, then I play one of the big dog himself, Dark Arm Dragon. Of course, it's a dark deck. Um, he has helped me out so much in this deck. He helps me out more than Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, and that's really surprising because he helps me OTK the crap out of my opponent. But uh, then I play two copies of Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon. Um, the reason I play two of these is because he's he's the only Gemini in the deck. If you're playing Archfiend, Red Eyes Archfiend, whatever the hell it is, stop playing it. It's bad. Um, from my play testing, I'll say that. Um, with this guy, you can give him an additional normal summon, but you don't have to tribute the second time you normal summon him to um, when he attacks at the end of the battle phase, you deal 2,400 extra points of damage. So you would essentially deal 4,800 points. So it's really good. Uh, that's why I'm playing two. Uh, so that's five red eyes total in the deck. Um, and then this is something that I'm doing that a lot of people are disagreeing with, but because they say it's slow, but I still like it. And that's two red eyes wyvern. Um, Red Eyes Wyvern is searchable in the deck, and sometimes you will get a clog hand, occasionally. It's like 9 out of 10 you'll get it, but later in the game, sometimes you just won't have anything to normal summon, or you'll have this engrave and you've, you know, fusion summoned or something with Dragon's Mirror or something like that. So you'll have this engrave, and it lets you special summon a Red Eyes monster from your graveyard by banishing this, if you didn't normal summon the turn that you did. It's a little slow, but it's a, it's a very good backup contingency plan. Um, then I play one Mathematician, and the reason I'm playing a Mathematician is because I'm playing one um, Carbon Dynon. I think that's how you say it. Carbon Dyna? I don't know. Whatever. I'm playing one of him because with him plus Mathematician, I normally summon my Mathematician. I either send a Blackstone, but if I've already got my Blackstone lined up, I send this to Grave. And the reason I send this to Grave is because... If he's in your graveyard, you can banish him to special summon one level or seven or lower dragon normal monster in phase of defense position. So he's essentially special summons by banishing him any red eyes monster, like a red eyes black dragon from your deck um, or hand. So he helps out with those rank seven plays and he helps out by replacing himself. You can set him and then let him get killed or he's a one for one target. But other than that, he's just, I like him in the deck, but I wouldn't play him at more than one. Uh, then for my one of monster also, and that is a keeper of the shrine. You know, red eyes, you got to play one keeper of the shrine. Then I'm playing two copies of black metal dragon. Um, 
Black Metal Dragon lets you equip him to a Red Eyes monster, and then that Red Eyes monster gains 500, or not 500, 600 attack. And when this is sent to Grave, you um, get to add a Red Eyes card from deck to hand. So it really helps out for the searchability. You can't, I have found myself in moments where I didn't have anything to summon. I would set this and then it get destroyed and then I'd have Red Eyes Fusion to my hand and then it'd be set. Um, again, this is going to be something that people probably are going to disagree with me about, but I'm playing two copies of Blackstone Legend. I do not think three is needed. When I was playing three on YGoPro, it, it was so cloggy to me. And I was just like, why is this a $25 to $30 card if it's so cloggy? I mean, I bought one of them for five bucks off of a guy because I got lucky. And then I bought one of them at Top Games. But um, yeah, yeah, I, I think two is fine. It helps you with your rank, you know, seven plays and stuff like that. But I don't think that once you get one engrave or once you draw one, you don't need but one. You really don't need one, but one at all. So... Unless it's going to get banished. And then you still have the second one as a backup. But um, then to round off the monsters, I play two copies of Effect Veiler because, you know, effects are going to be very dominant in this next format. Um, then I play one copy of Allure for draw power, one copy of One for One to get out my Blackstones and to send crap that I don't need in my hand to the grave, such as Carbon. Um, then I play one copy of Book of Moon, just for my one ofs. Uh, then I play two copies of Cards for the Red Jewel because, again, with when I played four Red Eyes in the deck, playing two Flares and three or two Red Eyes and two Flares, this card was so dead. But if I play two and three, I find myself drawing it more, drawing into Red Eyes more, so this card becomes more live. Um, then I play two copies of Dragon Trine, which pretty much searches your Blackstone because you'll send a Red Eyes to Grave. And then you can draw out a um, Blackstone because you send the Red Eyes first and then it lets you send an additional dragon. So you send the Blackstone and then you activate Blackstone effect, spinning the Red Eyes that you sent to Grave back to deck and then add Blackstone to hand. But you can't normal summon it and add activate its effect. You can normal summon it, but you can't activate its effect same turn. Uh, then because you play a lot of normal monsters that are dragons, I play two Silver Scry to bring them back. And then I play probably my favorite card in the deck and that is Red Eyes Fusion. Uh, Red Eyes Fusion's effect is, is that it is amazing. You can fuse from deck. So you fuse from field, hand, or deck, but you can't normal summon or special summon for the rest of the turn. But who needs to when you summon a 3200 beater? You know what I mean? You fusion summon from hand or deck, and you special summon a Red Eyes, something that lists Red Eyes as a fusion material. So um, Then I play one copy of Dragon's Mirror just in case I use this. And the next turn it gets killed, and then I have Dragon's Mirror another one. So, whatever. Uh, then I play for my one of traps, a Compulse, a Bottomless, a Torrential, a Vanities, and then <laughs> three cards that I'm going to lay down, and you guys are going to be like, huh, I never thought about that, but that's kind of interesting. Red Eyes has to sneeze. Red Eyes has to sneeze, and he's sick. Um, I play Eradicator Epidemic, Deck Devastation, and a Crush card. And the reason I play all three viruses in this deck is because you have the fulfillment to play all three. Okay. This card is the MVP out of the three viruses. This is going to be amazing against Magic Specters. This is fun against any other deck. This just any deck. Um, sometimes it will backfire, but most of the time it doesn't. Um, because if you have Flare Metal on board and you activate this and they send three cards to Grave that activate effects, they just lost 1,500 life points on top of losing all their monsters. So, yeah, GG. Um, then, that, that I mean, that's why I'm playing this. I find it very a control aspect where my Blue Eyes Heretics don't control as much. They just pound for game. And this deck controls a little bit more and controls the game a little bit better. Um, and then I was playing three Call of the Haunteds, but I dropped it down to two for the um, deck devastation. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm playing. It's actually a 42-card Red Eyes deck. Um I used to be really scared of playing decks that were higher than 40, but um, because I thought they were going to be inconsistent, but I don't really care anymore. I play 41, 42, you know, sometimes at the most I play 42, but um, yeah, let's get into the extra deck, guys. So first off, I'm playing two copies of Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, and this guy plus 
Archfiend Black Skull Dragon is probably the best two cards in the entire extra deck. Um, this card is like a Beals and a Cybernova Dragon had sex and made this. Okay, so it has three effects. When it has XZ materials, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay, so that's the Beals. Kind of reminds you of Beals. Um, you can detach a card off of this card in Special Summon a Red Eyes Black Dragon from your grave. Okay, that's the Cyber Nova effect. Then, if it has XZ materials, you this card deals 500... I think I'm misquoting you, actually. It cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects when it has XYZ materials. Okay, so I'm misquoting you. This thing always... If your opponent activates something, they take 500 life points. Okay, so you got to think about it. You have one of these on board. They can literally only activate 16 card effects until they go into the grave. Okay? And then, if you have two, that's eight. So, yeah. It, it gets really, really sacky really, really quick. And it gets really, really ugly with this guy really fast. Um, you want to make him as fast as you can. He's your first rank seven on the board. Then I play one big eye to steal my opponent's shit. And then I play two copies of Mech Phantom Beast Draco Sack because I have them and occasionally you do need a little bit more protection and maybe need to pop something. So that's why I'm playing two uh, Mech Phantom Beasts. Then I play for the rank fours, I play one Dark Belly and XYZ Dragon, one Queen Dragon Djinn or Jin, um, because you can use it very well in this deck. Uh, then I'm playing one 101 and one cast IL because just in case I need to flip stuff, sadly, no exiton. Uh, and then I'm playing one ghost trick Dullahan because Dullahan is just in case I have a flare metal or not a metal dragon, uh, a metal dragon and a black stone. And then because I do run effect veilers to protect my arch fiend, I play one start of spark dragon. And then because I'm running Dragon's Mirror, I play Five-Headed Dragon because you can make it. And he's an oh shit button. And then I play two copies of Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. Now, if I had three, if I had three, and I will stress this, if I had three, I would play three. But I only could get two. Okay. Um, If he attacks, he's an Armides. At the end of the battle phase, after he attacks... You can spin a red eyes back to deck, and your opponent takes damage equal to that monster's attack. So you hit him directly, that's 32, plus 24 equals 56. So you hit him again, and you just swing into a monster, and they lose. GG. Okay? So that's why you play him. He's amazing. If I had three, I would totally play three, because he's amazing. Um, and then I play one copy of First of the Dragons, just in case I need that little bit of protection. Because I have to run Dragon's Mirror. And he's a he's not that much commitment with Dragon's Mirror. Um, you banish two red eyes and you get him out. So, I mean, he's not that hard. But uh, anyways, guys, this is Dark Arm Duels. Don't forget to check the link in the description for my Facebook page, Dark Armed Alliance. It is a Facebook group on uh, Facebook, of course, on Facebook. And don't forget to check out my two Facebook like pages. I did make my own like page. And um, don't forget to check out my Yu-Gi-Oh! fan page, guys. But anyways, guys, this is Dark Arm Duelist. I hope you enjoyed the deck profile, as always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. And I am listening. I am taking five more deck profiles after this one. So if you notice the next couple of deck profiles, I'm getting a little sleepy. Just say, hey, take less next time. Anyways, guys, this is Dark Arm Duelist, and I'm out.